Hello, welcome to Design Fusion. My name is Nirav, and today I will introduce you a new sketch solver. When designers started any design, it start with the sketches. Either it's manual, with the paper and pencil, or on digital platform. I think around 25 to 30 years ago designers started the design sketches on digital platform like cat system but still some of the designers started their concepts and idea with pen pen and paper so now siemens introduced a new sketch solver in nx 1926 which is easy for use and modification it will allow you to create a sketch that are accurate and represent your design intent new sketch solver has a capability to predict what you are going to drag and modify it creates geometrical relationship on neighboring geometry it will allow user to capture ideas as they iterate and make changes as needed now let me quick discuss about new capability in nx solver so in new solver most of the interaction with the sketch is done in graphical area like selecting point and curve, dimensioning, dragging curve in a linear and rotational direction. You can check relation by selecting curve and dimension. Instead of uh, deleting, you can now relax relation and dimension with the new sketch. Now you can detach relation by shaking the curve. That's why we also can call as shake and break. Let me show you a practical example. So now we can explore a new solver. To do that, we have to create a sketch. Select plane, click OK. And we can see our home tab. And in home tab, we have all the options for the, the sketch command. So I can see here, I didn't see the new sketch tool here. So NX by default open old sketch command after first installing a new NX. You know most of the user, even I have an old NX file and if I want to edit or if I want to open that sketch environment how can I manage so that's why NX made a provision for user to select or user to toggle from old sketch solver or the new sketch solver so I will show you how we can enable and disable uh, old and new sketch tool so just paste this okay for for enable or disable a sketch solver you have to go in file utility and you will see here a uh, feature toggles so in feature toggle we have to find for sketch okay so we see we can see here it has new solver and ui for the sketch in now we have a uh, instead we have off that means it's disabled so by right click and click on by left uh, mouse button and click ok so it, so it will enable a new sketch solver so we can again start with the sketch plain click ok so again we can see here all the same similar feature for the sketch tool but uh, addition to that we can see here one group for solver and it has multiple new features so we can start exporting the tools so I can create uh, one profile so I will create a hexagon 
here so i create hexagon and i see here saddle region inside the hexagon so new solver is give you a visual inspection whether your profile is closed or open profile you also can make a change in a uh, sketch settings to do that you have to go in task sketch setting and you can enable or disable shaded region by checking and unchecking the box you also can give a dimension easily by selecting the line and you will have a possible dimension if you are okay with the dimension just drag and left mouse button and it will generate the dimension if you select the curve to go it will give you a suggestion for applicable constraint as well as it will also show you a geometrical constraint in a neighboring neighboring curve you also can easily move the sketch resize the sketch it has nice feature for selecting the point and many more other options so i will give you uh, some overview with the nice example so i have created a sketch for small walkman and we can see here this is our screen this is our outer body and this is our button so now you can see here your sketch is fully defined if i delete this dimension and X will show you which portion is movable by selecting this command so movable so if you can see here a brown outline you just have to drag inside or outside so you can make a changes by dragging the dimension if you want to give a dimension you just have to select the line and select the dimension if you click left mouse button and it will generate a dimension and, and you can see here your sketch is now fully constant if you want to again change the dimension either you can put the numbers here or you can uh, drag from the from the end like same thing with here want to move this dimension i can drag and drop but in this case our sketch is fully defined and it's showing uh, us uh, there is a uh, lots of relation and it make over constraint so in old sketch we usually uh, delete the constraint and make a changes but in new solver nx give you a provision for relaxing dimension or relation so i will show you one by one so first we can relax the dimension if i want to change this dimension i click on relax dimension and it will allow me to change a length and it will relax the dimension here if i relax the relation then it will relax the relation the horizontal relation for this line and it will allow me to change a length based on moving point your sketch is fully constrained but you still did not see any constraint so whenever you select any curve you will see all the related uh, geometrical constraints so you also can create a persistence a constraint to do that you have to go option and create persistence 
so if i create this one as a horizontal still we are not seeing any persistence constraint visually so we have an option here display a persistent relation so whenever you click on persistent relation you will see here a persistent relationship visually you also can enable and disable by selecting and deselecting command and also NX solver has a new feature you also can rotate the uh, rotate and drag and drop so like now you have a rectangle at the bottom if you if you feel that okay this is not the good position the actual position should be somewhere here or somewhere here in the new sketcher you don't have to delete the sketch and redo again you just have to select the rotate drag and select the feature and you can move it anywhere here suppose if you want to move it here and it will also uh, it will also maintain the dimension here it just move the location and also I will show you one cool thing in a new solver so if you want to break the relation or if you want to break the curve you just have to select and shake three times so it will detach the curve if i want to again connect you have to just select the end point here end point here and make a coincide so it will again connect and it will also show you your profile is closed so this is how the new nx sketch solver work and so i can show you another uh, nice tree nice thing so if i create another rectangle inside you will see a color difference in a settings so whenever you create uh, any close profile inside another close profile it will give you a different setting so one another cool thing in NX, it will create a automatic relation. So if I create a, a circle inside, and if I move the outer circle, it will also move uh, inner circle because it will automatically generate the offset relationship between this two curve so this is the new solver with the artificial intelligence thank you for watching this video for more video please subscribe our youtube channel or visit our website www.designfusion.com thank you